When it comes to viewing and sorting through the content that we have access to for our LumaFusion projects, there are a few different ways to go about it. Let's take a look. I'm looking at my photos album, and as you can see, I'm looking at it in an icon view, but I can change that if I want to. If I tap on the view and sort options, you'll see that I can choose to view by automatic, list view, or icon view. I tend to leave it in automatic because the software does a great job of switching between list view and icon view as needed, but that's up to you. You can also choose how your content is sorted. You can sort by title, created date or modified date, size, color, notes, duration, resolution, frame rate, frame aspect, and even sample rate. So a lot of options in here in how you want your media sorted. You can also choose to sort it ascending or descending. If you're looking for a particular clip, there's also a search field. However, here in the photos view, this may not be terribly useful because all the clips are named just a bunch of numbers that came out of the camera. But let's use this to search for a music track. I'll go to the sources list, scroll down to my music library, and from here I can search for any music track. I'll type in live to find any music with the word live in the title. You'll notice that this is searching my iTunes library specifically. If I tap on all, it will search all libraries. That includes your photos, any attached drives, and anywhere else where you have content that's available for LumaFusion to use. It may take a few moments to search everything, but as you can see, the results can be pretty big. There's a lot of content in here with the word live in the title. This is all great for finding content that's already organized, but what about actually organizing content within LumaFusion? Well, one of the tools that you have for that are color tags. Color tags are very useful because you can apply a color tag to any type of content you want. That could be to a title, to a photo, to a video, even to transitions. So let's go ahead and add some color tags and I'll start by adding them to a couple of video clips. I'll select this clip here, tap on the color tag icon, and then assign that one to red. I'll make this one red as well make this one blue, make this one green, and so on. Color tags can be used for anything you want. You could use a color tag to identify one camera versus another, or a particular type of shot. Let's say B-roll gets one color, interview shots get another, and so on. Once you've color tagged your clips, you can sort by color tags by going into the sort view, scrolling down to color, and now you'll see all of your color tags are grouped together, or you can even search for it by simply opening the search tab and typing in the color you want to search for, in this case, red, it'll show me all the clips that I've tagged red in my library. Now at the moment, we're just searching for and revealing the red video clips. But remember, I can search through the entire library. So if I go down here and switch it from photos to all, it's going to reveal everything that I've tagged red, including photos, videos, music, and anything else that I've already assigned that tag to. Finally, you can also add custom notes to clips so that you can search and sort by those as well. To add a note, select a clip, tap the I button, and then tap on Add Notes. I'll type in The Market, and now when I go to search The Market, I'll find that clip. So there you have multiple ways of organizing and ultimately finding the clips that you want to work with. I find the color tags most useful personally. I tend to use those a lot as I'm scrubbing through hundreds or even thousands of clips, marking the ones that I think are going to work for my project so I can then sort or filter by them later and add the ones that I'm looking for.